Hi viewers, welcome to Maths Hacks. Today, I'll explain you simple equations chapter, second exercise, that is exercise 4.2 from 7th Standard Mathematics Textbook Part 1. So this is the exercise we are going to solve it today. Usually we solve these type of sums using transpose method, right? But today I will show you a unique method, an easy method to solve the exercise 4.2 with simple steps. So let's start, let's get started with exercise 4.2 first main. Give first the step you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. So here we have to separate the variables. Right? So the first question here is x minus 1 is equal to 0. We have to find out the value of x, right? So the question is x minus 1 is equal to 0. We have to, here we have to separate the variable as given in the question, as told in the question. Instead of using transpose method, I'll tell, tell you an easy, simple method. The method is, see, x minus 1 is equal to 0, right? First thing is you have to understand the variables should be in one side and the numbers should be in another side. So let's take the left hand side as in variable side and the right hand side as the number side. So x, let's take x is equals to, see this is x, this is a variable side, left hand side is the variable side. Here we have 0, right? 0 is a number. So we will shift the number to the number side. So while shifting, one thing is important that we have to change the sign. See here. It's in variables place, right? It is minus 1. So if we shift that in numbers place, it will become plus 1. So x is equal to 1. Simple, right? x is equal to 1. Simple thing is you have to shift minus 1 in the numbers place. That is next to 0. Now let's solve the second sum. See here, we got x is equal to 1 as our answer. x is equal to plus 1. Here, the sign the same question but only the sign has been changed right so this is the variable side and this is number side so if we shift this plus one here we will get x is equals to minus one right see i'll show you over here b x plus one is equals to zero is the question right we have decided lhs should be variable side so this is the variable let's take x in the left hand side Let's copy this is equals to here and let's shift this plus 1 over here. See, if we shift plus 1 here, it will become minus 1. So, x is equals to minus 1 is our answer. Now, let's solve the C question. So, the C question here is x minus 1 is equals to 5. x minus 1 is equals to 5, right? Now, this is the variable side, right? So, let's copy the x here. In the previous sums we get we got zero but here we have five right so let's copy this file let's the number side be r h s side let it be number side so let's take this five now see x and one this is a variable and this is a number right so let's keep the x let's keep the variable in its place and let's shift numbers number in minus one number side so if we shift minus one here it will become plus 1. So, x is equal to 5 plus 1. x is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6. So, x is equal to 6. See, we found out the value of x. Now, let's solve the next question. D. x plus 6 is equal to 2. x plus 6 is equal to 2. Simple. x is equal to, let's take this 2 here. Let's shift plus 6 over here it will become plus 6 if we shift here it will become minus 6 so x is equals to 2 minus 6 so 2 minus 6 is how much 4 right we'll write here 4 now the sign see here it is plus 2 and this is minus 6 right which is the greater number here 6 or 2 6 is the greater number and the sign of the greater number is minus so we'll always take the greater number sign so minus 4 is our answer x is equals to minus 4 now the next is now let's solve the e sum so the question in e is why 
minus 4 is equals to minus 7 is the question here. Now, in the previous sums, we solved for x. Now, here we will solve it for y. So, y is equals to this minus 7. Minus 7. This minus 4, if we shift here, it will become plus 4. So, y is equals to minus 7 plus 4. Now, take out this y here. Minus and plus. We have two signs here. So, minus into plus is minus right plus into minus is minus so we'll subtract 7 minus 4 is how much 3 which is the greater number here 7 is the greater number so the sign of the greater number will take minus 3 as our answer so it's simple right the first thing we have to understand that lhs is left hand side i mean sorry lhs is left hand side is always variable and right hand side is for numbers so we shifted all the numbers in one place and variables in one place this is how we we solve this first main the same way we will solve this three sums this is these three sums is for homework you all will try and comment your answers now let's solve the next main so the next main is give first the step you will use to separate the variables and then solve the equation so the first question here is 3l is equals to 42 even this is same as previous one but little complicated that's it so this is the question right 3l is equals to 42 now 3l is equals to 42 here we have to separate the variables and numbers in one place so let's take vari variables place as left hand side see here we have only one variable and others rest all is numbers right so let's take just one variable l is the variable let's take out l is equals to 42 right 42 now what about this 3? This 3 we will shift in the denominator. This is 3. Now we will do the cancellation. 3 ones are 3. 3 ones are 3. 1 as the remainder 4. 3 4s are 12. So we got the value as 14. Therefore L is equals to 14 is our final answer. That's it. Now let's solve the B sum. What's the B question here? B as b by 2 is equal to 6 right this is the question b by 2 is equal to 6 see here we got the denominator here we didn't get the denominator right and it is in is equal to form simple thing is we will copy the same question b by 2 is equal to 6 simple thing is there is nothing in the denominator here but we have a denominator here so let's assume the denominator as 1 here and the next step is we'll do the cross multiplication b into 1 is b only b1 and 2 into 6 is 2, 6 are 12. So that's it. So B is equals to 12 as our final answer. Therefore, B is equals to 12. Now let's solve the third question. P by 7 is equals to 4. P by 7 is equals to 4. Even this is same as the previous one. The step is we'll put the denominator 1. Cross multiplication P into 1 is P itself. 7 4s are 28. So, P is equal to 28 as our answer. Now, let's solve the D question. Here, D is 4X is equal to 25. Same as the first sum. 4X is equal to 25. How will we do? 4X is equal to 25. We'll take out the variable out. X is equal to 25. We will shift this 4 in the denominator. 25 divided by 4. See, 25, 4, 25 doesn't go in 4's table. So, we will not do any further calculations. We will conclude it as x is equal to 25 divided by 4. So, therefore, x is equal to 25 divided by 4 is our final answer. Now, let's solve the equation. See, e is also similar to the same one, right? So, let's keep this as homework. You all will try this. Now, let's solve the f1. f is, f here is z by 3 is equal to, 5 by 4 right here see this is little similar to this sum right but here they, gave, they didn't give us the denominator but here they have given us the denominator simple we do cross multiplication 2 into 4 3 into 5 sorry not 2 this is z so z into 4 5 into 3 so z into 4 is z4 only but here see if we do the cam Cross multiplication b into 1 right so we got b anything you multiply by 1 you will get the same number right but here it is 4 and not 1 so we'll write here z 
z4 is equal to 5 into 3. 5 threes are 15. Now take out this variable out. z is equal to 15. See this is in which form? This is in this form, right? z4 is equal to 15 is similar to this form. 3l is equal to 42. How did we do? We do the division here. So z is equal to 15 and we'll take this 4 in the denominator. So that's all z is. See, we can't divide this now because 15 doesn't go in 4's table. So therefore, our final answer, the value of z is equal to 15 by 4 is our final answer. Now let's solve the g sum. G sum, see a by 5 is equal to 7 by 15, similar to the previous one. What is the question? a by 5 is equal to 7 by 15, right? Now, the first step is, we'll, if we get is equal to here in the middle, the first thing is we will do the cross multiplication. a into 15, 5 into 7. So, a into 15 will get 15a, right? Is equals to 7 5 is 35. We will take this a down, the variable in one place. This is 35 and we will shift this 15 in the denominator. 15. Now we will do the cancellation. 5 3 is 15. 5 7 is 35. So our final answer therefore a is equals to 7 by 3 is our final answer. Simple right? Now let's solve the h sum which is the last sum of this main 20t is equal to minus 10 right let's copy here 20t is equal to minus 10 this is similar to this right same take out the t down minus 10 divided by 20 10 ones are 10 10 twos are 20 therefore t is equal to minus 1 divided by 2 is our final answer now let's solve the third main. Give the steps you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. What's the first question? 3n minus 2 is equal to 46. Even this is very easy. How will we solve? We'll solve in few minutes. That's it. It's very easy. So 3n minus 2 is equal to 46. See, what did I tell? Variables in one place, numbers in one place. So this is a variable number, right? 3n is a, is a number with a variable. So let's take 3n first aside. Now, let's take the numbers in one place. 46. See, minus 2 is an also a number. So, we'll shift this minus 2 here. We will get plus 2. Now, here 3n is equal to 46 plus 2 gives you 48, right? Simple. Take this n. Take this variable down. 48. 48. Take this denominator. I Sorry. Take this 3 in the denominator. So, how will we take? We'll take this 3 in the denominator. Take it. We'll do the cancellation. 3 ones are 3. 3 ones are 3. 3, 6, 18. So, n is equals to 16 is our final answer. Simple, right? See, what did we do? See, 3, 1s are 3 and 3, 16s are 48. So, we got the answer as 16 as our value of n. Now, let's solve the B question. What's the B question here? 5m plus 7 is equals to 17. 5m plus 7 is equal to 17. Even this is similar to this. Let's solve it fa fast, faster. Take out 5m is equal to 17. 17 minus, see this is plus 7. We are shifting this in numbers place. So if we shift plus 7 to the numbers place, how, what will we get? Minus 7. So 5m is equal to 17 minus 7 will give you 10. Take out the m here, 10 here and 5 in the denominator. 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. So our answer here is m is equal to 2 as our final answer. Now let's solve this, this question, C question. What's the question in C? 20p by 3 is equal to 40. 20p by 3 is equal to 40. What is the first step? There is nothing in the denominator. We'll put 1 here. Do the cross multiplication. 20p into 1 is 20p itself. 3 into 40. 120. Now we'll take this p here. p is equals to 120 divided by 20. We'll cancel this 0, this 0. What is left? 2 ones are 2, 2 6 are 12. So our final answer p, the value of p is equals to 6 is our, 6 is our final answer. Now let's solve the d question. What's the question d here? 3p 
by 10 is equals to 6 is our question right it is similar to the previous sum first step is we'll do the cross multiplication see if you see an is equal to and if it's in if it's in fraction form the first thing you do cross multiplication so this is 3p right 6 by 1 now we'll do the cross multiplication 3p into 1 is 3p 6 into 10 is 60 take out the p in lhs side p is equals to 60 we'll shift this 3 in the denominator 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 and 0 so therefore p is equals to 20 is our final answer now let's quickly shift to the fourth main now solve the following equations a is equals to uh, sorry a is 10 p is equals to 100 right let's solve here only fourth main a sum what's the question 10 p 10 p is equals to 100 simple we'll take this p variable in lhs side p is equals to 100 shift this 10 in the denominator cancel 10 cancel 10 so our answer is p is equals to 10 is our final answer simple bit let's solve the b question so this is the question take out 10 p here variable side place one and number side one place 100 here we'll shift this plus 10 here it will become minus 10 so 10 p is equals to 100 minus 10 is how much 90 so take this p down Take this 90 down, put this denominator, uh, sorry, this 10 in the denominator, simple. Cancel 10, 10, what is left? 9 is left. So, therefore, our answer P is equal to so the value of P is 9. That's all. Now, what's the C question? P by 4 is equal to 5. Even this is simple, right? I'll solve it here itself. We'll take the denominator 1. We'll do the cross multiplication. P into 1 is P itself, right? P is equal to simple p c p into 1 is p so 5 into 4 is 5 4 is 20 so our value of p is 20 itself here here also simple we'll put 1 here we'll do the cross multiplication p into 1 is p but here it is minus sign so minus p is equals to 5 into 3 we'll multiply 5 into 3 5 3 is a 15 so therefore the value of p is equals to minus 15 don't forget the minus sign simple this is even this is same right how will we do? We'll put the denominator as 1. Cross multiplication. 3p into 1 is 3p itself. 6 into 4. 4 5, 6 4s are 24. I will do the division here. p is equals to 24 by 3. So, 3 how much are 24? 3 1s are 3 and 3 8s are 24. So, the value of p is 8 is our answer. Now, 3s is equals to 9. Minus 9, even this is simple, right? You all will solve this. 3s is equals to minus 9 3s plus 12 is equals to 0 even this is easy all this is same so using this method we can solve all the sums so that's all for today if you all found it helpful please subscribe like and share thank you for watching